Brickology. Hey everybody, it's Thomas here, and today I'm going to show you my studio where I do all my shooting and uh, some of my Lego stuff. Um, this, I'm going to start off this in the patient room set. You're probably familiar with it already from a lot of my films. And I'm going to pull back and you get to see where I do like 99.9% .9 of my shooting. It's all right here. Very small space. This is a picnic table I grabbed from the garage. And it folds up. It's nice and sturdy, so I thought I'd use it. And you can see on the table here, this you know, I put all bunch of stuff here. This is other sets. And this is the camera that I use. It's a camera, uh, excuse me, a Canon T3i. I've had it for years. I, I don't know how long I've had that computer, I mean, camera, and it's still going strong. In the back here, you see some of the modulars. I love Lego modular buildings, can't get enough of them. But this is where I do all my shooting, 99.9% .9 of it. I put this big blue thing in the back just to simulate the sky. So if I ever have a background that's not a wall, or if you're looking through the window, it looks blue and you, you know, say, okay, that's the sky. I'll buy it. That's the sky. Here are my three lights. And these umbrella lights, they were not expensive at all. Uh, they were part of a set. And I think the whole set cost, I don't know, maybe 40, 45 bucks. But this table extends all the way out here, and this is where I keep a lot of my other stuff. Here's another modular. This is the Parisian restaurant. I think that's how you pronounce it. There's another set. That's the hospital entrance set. And this is where, just where I put a bunch of other junk. Uh, the thing I like about this table is because it's so big, so just in case I need a larger set, I have the room to do it. And I'll just take all this stuff and throw it on the ground or put it in another room. But here's a shot end-to-end. -end. And again, the majority of my time is spent right here, looking at that shot right there. Let's move over to the side where the computer is. It looks great, and it's one of the reasons why I went to Dragon Frame, that software that I used to shoot the videos. I wanted to be able to see the pictures on the big screen, and it helps my eyes. And, you know, I wanted a nice big screen, and Macs are great computers. Here's the remote for Dragon Frame, very handy so I never have to touch the camera. Headphones for recording audio. This is the audio interface. This is a Focusrite. Uh, I think it's a Scarlett 2 i2 or something. And just a bunch of other minifigures. I just put minifigures around whenever I need them. I just grab one to use. I don't have a rhyme or reason. It's just there and I grab it. But this table I got from Ikea and it's a nice sturdy table. On this other side, this is where I do the other 0.01% of my shooting. This is the white background. It's just poster board. And in, if I need, you know, just a nice sterile like shot, I'll use that. Um, here's the hallway set. Now these hard drives, these were, uh, I'll admit, these were a, a pretty penny. Um, I spend money on these hard drives because, well, the information that's held on them is very valuable to me, so I want to make sure that I put them on good quality drives. And I love this company. These drives have lasted me for a very long time. This is the floor of my studio. I really have no organization skills. These are just, you know, plastic containers full of random parts. Whenever I need them, I just search through them to try to find the part that I need. I know I should get organized, but I don't. The only organized thing that I really have is this toolbox, which I use to store a lot of the smaller pieces or uh, pieces that I find are interesting to keep so I know handy where they are. On this other side here, more of the modulars and some vehicles and just some random things that I find that I use uh, very often. Here's more minifigures. Here's the Lego hospital set where I get a lot of my figures. Um, but all these, they're just sitting around whenever I need it. Here's the 7-Eleven. There's the Doctor Strange Sanctum Santorium. Sanctorium. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And that's the other side of the studio. This is just a close-up of one of these trays. Like I said, it's literally just a box, uh, a case, excuse me, full of random parts. 
And yeah, sometimes when I need to search for a part, I gotta go search and it takes a while. So I really should invest in some sort of organization, uh, but I'm just too lazy to do that. This is another container full of minifigures. And oh look, hey, that's cool. And uh, so whenever I need them, I just go searching through here. What else? These are just random parts. Random parts. Here is my container full of Lego heads. And I store them like this so I can see them very quickly and access them very easily. And whenever I see an interesting head, I pop it off and I put it here. And I have ones, this is specifically for Thomas the nurse. And let me say I have a female one. This is specifically just for females. And the other ones are just random ones that I'll use if I ever need them. And that's my studio. Hope you enjoyed it. Nothing too fancy. If there's an aspect of the studio that you'd like me to touch on a little bit more, leave me a comment and I'll you know, focus more in on that in another video. If you wanna show off your studio, make a video and link it in the comments and I'll be sure to take a look at it as well. All right, hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.